Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm very excited to share with you all this beautiful Dooney and Burke bag. I've had this bag in my collection for a little while. I just haven't officially revealed it on my channel. So if you are a fan of Dooney and Burke, I hope that you'll stick around and keep watching. This is the Dooney and Burke carpet shoulder bag in the color navy. I am filming near my window with the blinds open, so hopefully you guys can kind of get a good idea of the color navy on this bag. Um, the sun keeps going in and out behind the clouds, so hopefully I'm doing a good job at showing you guys the color navy on this bag. but. From a distance, it does look like it is a black bag, but it is in fact the color navy. And just to do a quick color comparison, I do want to compare it to another Dooney and Burke bag that I have in my collection, which is this Dooney and Burke um, hobo bag. I don't exactly know the exact name of this bag, but it is vintage. This is about a 20 year old bag or more. But this is in the color black with the pebbled leather. So here you can kind of see how it looks up against the navy. And you can clearly see that the carpet shoulder bag is clearly in the navy, whereas the hobo bag, it's clearly in the color black. Okay. I picked up this bag a couple weeks ago at my local vintage consignment shop. And I was so excited to come across this bag because this is my second Dooney and Burke handbag purchase. And after doing some research, I did find out that this bag I think was made around 1999. So this is a 23 year old, you know, going on 24 year old bag, um, if I'm correct. So. It's in beautiful condition, excellent condition. Whoever owned this bag prior to me um, either took really good care of it or they barely wore it. So here she is. Um, this is a small sized bag. So I am gonna go ahead and just give you guys some quick dimensions. This bag measures approximately 10 inches in length, nine and a half inches in height, and the depth of the bag is approximately four and a half inches. This bag does come with two uh, shoulder straps and the strap drop length on the shoulder strap is approximately 11 and three quarters of an inch. At my vintage consignment shop, I paid $59 plus tax for this bag. So I thought it was very well priced uh, for it being a vintage uh, bag. And again, it's an excellent, excellent um, condition. I will try to include a cutaway of what this bag looks like outside because um, I don't think the window in my bathroom is really giving this bag any justice on how beautiful this color is. But again, let's go over some more details about this bag. It does have the navy pebbled leather with the British tan leather trim kind of going throughout the bag. I think that the stitching on this bag is also impeccable stitching on here. It is very well done. And I also think that it is a nice contrast up against the brown leather trim, as well as this gorgeous uh, navy pebbled leather here as well. Um, this bag does have brass hardware, um, unlike my do other Dooney and Burke bag, which has the silver hardware. Um, this bag also, has a double zip closure at the top. And also the bag has a total of five protective feet on the bottom of this. Bag. This carpet shoulder bag also has the Heritage Dooney and Burke uh, all weather leather patch here on the front of the bag. And then also you do see the little charm on the side of the bag. This charm is removable in the brass hardware. And again, it does have that gorgeous heritage Dooney and Burke duck logo here. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and get into the interior of this bag. So again, you do have the uh, double zip closure here. And 
it just comes down like so on the sides, just so you guys could see it again. Okay, and then it opens up just like this, which I think is a nice kind of unique um, shape to this bag. And then I just have it stuffed with some air paper. Um, but inside it does open up to this, you know, generous interior. Like I said, I think that this is a pretty small sized bag, so I am able to fit my essentials and then some. And then inside you also see that it also has a navy color interior. I'm not sure if you guys can tell. And I do believe that the interior of this bag, I think is a suede um, material. So I'm not sure if that's what it is or if it's microfiber. If anyone owns this bag or if in the past you own this bag in your collection, please let me know in the comment section down below. But I do believe that this is a suede lining inside. There are two interior pockets that do flip over. As you can see, I just did that here. And on this side, it does have, I guess that would be the item number for this bag. So R147 and the NV stands for Navy Carpet Shoulder Bag. Um, here goes another number here. Maybe that's the item number there. And this bag was made in the USA. All right, so that's the first one. And it just has a little slip pocket right here. And then on this side, it also has another interior pocket that can also um, be flipped over as well. And on this pocket, you do have one slip pocket here. And then you also have two smaller slip pockets there. And here, this is just my receipt from the vintage consignment shop that I just slipped inside of there. And then if you look down to the bottom of the bag, you can see that there are a total of five rivets at the bottom, which kind of lead down to the five protective feet that's on the bottom of this bag again. So let me go ahead and see. Not sure if you guys could see those little rivets, but there are a total of five of them. All right. And then finally inside the bag, you do have this Dunian Burke red, white, and blue tag here. Okay, made in the USA. And then again, if you kind of flip it, you do see the little, I guess, serial number or item number for the carpet shoulder bag. Alrighty, now for this portion of the video, I'm going to do a what can fit inside of this Dunian Burke carpet shoulder bag. So again, I consider this to be a small to medium sized bag, um, but it can fit all of my essentials and then some. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys my iPhone 13 case. I want to just show you guys how this phone case can fit inside of this little slip pocket here. On that side, it can fit just fine. It's a little bit of a tight fit, so if you don't like that, you always can, of course, put it inside of the center of the bag. But if you have an iPhone 13 and the case is pretty slim like this, it can fit inside of this little slip pocket on this side with those two little um, card slot compartments or is what I'm gonna call them. So that can fit just fine in there. Okay, then I have my Chanel compact mirror. I'm just gonna put that in the other slip pocket here on the opposite side and that fits in just fine. And then now let's start filling her up in the center. I have my mini pochette. my Victorine wallet. So far, that's how everything is looking so far. My key pouch. And then I have this cute little Mickey Mouse uh, coin purse. I purchased this from Dillard's when this collection was getting ready to be discontinued. And I purchased this because my son's nickname is Mickey and I wanted to have something from the Disney collection. So that's where I got that from. And that can fit just fine right over here. Okay. And then finally, I'm just going to carry my uh, a new day sunglass 
case pouch from Target. I'm just gonna slip that right on top. And as you can see, those are how the items look inside of my bag. So again, it's a pretty roomy bag, I think. And then of course, I'm just gonna zip it up a little bit. Normally when I wear this bag, I don't zip the zippers up all the way. I usually kind of stop them here at this point. So if I'm out and about or if I'm at the register when I'm going out shopping, I can just slip my hands inside of my bag to be able to reach it for my phone, my keys, um, or my wallet when it's time to pay. But yes, that is how my items look inside of this carpet shoulder bag. Alrighty guys, so that's the end of this video of me showcasing this beautiful Dooney and Burke carpet shoulder bag in the color navy. I am so happy that I came across this bag at my vintage consignment store near my home because um, now I can say that I have another Dooney and Burke bag in my handbag collection in addition to this vintage um, hobo bag here with the silver hardware. And being again that this bag was made around 1999 and here we are in the year 2023, you know, this bag is, you know, 23, you know, 24 years old. And I think it just goes to show how Dooney and Burke bags are really made to last. I feel like this silhouette and the color of this bag and just overall how it looks, I find it to have a timeless appeal. I find it to be pretty minimalist as well. And the craftsmanship on this bag is just beautiful. And again, the stitching on here is impeccable. Um, I know I've heard people say that they consider uh, Dooney and Burke bags to be kind of like old lady bags, but I think that's very untrue. I think that Dooney and Burke bags are very classic and can work for the everyday woman. And then if you shop vintage, um, there I find them also to be quite affordable as well. And it's an all leather bag too. So just beautiful craftsmanship, just a timeless appeal. And there she is. I don't think I have anything else to say about this beautiful vintage bag. If you enjoyed this video, or if you're just simply a fan of Dooney and Burke bags or vintage bags, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel for more handbag content from me. And as always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your time with me today. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.